Hey, Nick, AKA Sporp here, here to show you how to see who you're following on Instagram, who isn't following you back and vice versa. I originally made version one of this tool, but some people had a couple issues with it. Number one being a lot of people are confused around the concept of HTML. I get it, coding is not for everybody. It took me a while to get on board and understand it. And number two, a lot of people have too many followers to lazy load, meaning that you could keep scrolling and it could take multiple minutes to hours. And I actually got one person who said that their computer ran out of memory, just lazy loading their followers list. So. If you have these issues or you just don't want to seek through the HTML, here's how to do it. I'd like to specifically thank a user by the name of Tobility, thank you very much, for showing me that Instagram has a data download tool. So you can request your data directly from Instagram and within 48 hours they'll send you a nice little package of everything about your Instagram account. And using that we can upload two files to my site. Now it's not actually uploading, you're doing all this locally on your own browser, so don't worry about me stealing your data. Using this information, we can parse out who you're following, who isn't following you back, and vice versa. So, without any further ado, let's go over to the... Oh, 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 not this time. To first use this tool, go to the Instagram data download tool. The, it is the first link in the description. Make sure you select JSON as the information format. My program does not process HTML, it processes JSON. Put in your password, request the download. It may take up to 48 hours for the information to be collected and sent to you. If it doesn't get sent right away, be patient, wait for the email to come through, then you can use my tool. When the email comes to you, go click on the link, put in your password and click download information. This will download all of your account information as a bunch of JSON files. You're going to need to extract this information. I suggest just dropping the zipped file into a new folder and then unzipping it. I've included a link to 7-zip, which is an unarchival tool, which will be totally fine for this. Just right click and unzip your account information. You're gonna need to find a folder called followers and following. Pretty self-evident, click into it and you'll see that you have two JSON files that you need. The followers JSON file and the following JSON file. Go to the link in the description for the unfollower tool on my website. Find the two files, use the choose file buttons for your followers and following, put them in the corresponding spots, then hit the hurt me button and there you go. A complete list of the people you're following who don't follow you back and vice versa. And there you go, you should have two lists ready to use as you see fit. Now, some people in my last video were wondering why certain third-party apps stopped allowing them to see who they were following, who wasn't following them back, and vice versa. A lot of unfollower apps seem to just break all at the same time. And now, the reason that is is because back when the Cambridge Analytica scandal happened, Facebook locked off the Instagram API to third-party developers, meaning there's no longer an easy way for a third party to use your credentials to find your followers list and your following list. Now, if Facebook and Instagram don't trust third-party developers, why should you trust me? Very good question. Honestly, don't. Don't trust strangers on the internet with your data. Data is one of the most valuable currencies that exist in today's world. Now, granted, uh, I'm promise you that I'm not stealing your data. I suggest if you're a coder, look through my code, see if I'm stealing anything server side. I guarantee you I'm not, but you know, verify these things. Don't just trust someone on the internet to have your best interests in mind. Personally, I deeply value privacy, both for myself and for that of other people. I think that the way that many of these big companies run by just like sifting through all your metadata, creating user profiles, making predictive models of what you will like, dislike, what will keep you on their platform, I find it kind of disgusting. And honestly, I don't want to incorporate in that into my business model. Before I just dive off into another 10 minute rant though, I think I'm gonna cut this off here. Let me know if there's any other Instagram analytical stuff that you want me to do in order to, oops, I just killed my computer. <laughs> Let me know if there's any other Instagram analytics stuff that you want me to work on, any other tool ideas that you have. Be happy to work on them. It seems like the, the algorithm's liking this stuff. Let me know if it worked for you. Like, comment, and subscribe so that you can catch me on the next one when I do one of these things. And let me know if it works for you, please. I, I know my programming isn't perfect and the comments that you people have left from the previous video really helped me debug my last version and help me create this new one, so. Thanks for your time. Um, yeah, have a good day.